Can Moody take that leap forward with the minutes that we've been asking for? If Moody can take that next step, who's been waiting for his opportunity, and if Kaminga could continue to build off of what he did last season, especially from that moment where he told Steve Kerr, I'll, you lost my trust, I want out. They sit down, have the meeting. He gets the haircut. He struggles against Detroit, and then he goes crazy. Then he goes crazy, and then the knee tonight is picked up. So I know that's a concern, but injuries are always a concern. Hell, I still worry about Steph Curry's ankles and to this day. Draymond Green's back. It's a problem. No doubt about it. But can those guys make a leap? And what will the Warriors do? By, by the way, it sounds like the Knicks are not going to be able to keep Isaiah Hartenstein. What is his value? And what is his market? That's a guy I wouldn't mind getting. How would I be able to get him? Sign a trade? I don't know. But it's Hartenstein, I, he's a hell of a big. I, I'll be impressed like with Hardenstein. him. I like him a lot. I like Hartenstein a lot. He's very rugged. He's actually a quite unique player that the Warriors haven't had a guy like that in a long, long time. Man, I would love to get my hands on him. I, I would but too. But I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's realistic. Mm -hmm. I know Oklahoma City is looking at him. Maybe. Maybe. I he'd, be re he'd be really good alongside Chet. Oh, wow. my gosh. That's, that's, a, that's a really good fit. Uh, I mean, especially but, but, with all the bigs in the West. But, again, him alongside Draymond, you need more shooting. And that you and do. that's where it's, it's a requirement. So, the, okay, so you're asking about Moody. I'm just going off what they're telling me. And from all the tea leaves that I've read, it feels like Pajemski has leaped Moody to be that two guard. Now that doesn't mean the whole game. I'm I, like, there are times he's going to obviously be more of a point guard. I view him as a backup point guard. They view him in some combination role. I, I don't even think they view him as a pure two. I don't think that, but I do think that they think that he can play alongside mm -hmm. Steph Curry and be a ball handler, knock down shots. I think they think that the shot can get better over time. Clearly. Cause he's only 20. Yep. I just don't think he's laterally quick enough to be long stretches alongside Steph unless you had two elite perimeter yeah, defenders I, to pair alongside those two with Draymond Green. I, I actually think there's going to be an open competition for Moody and Pajewski. That's I think that, and, oh, and okay. I remember well, listening to plus stand, minus. I stand corrected. No, 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 no. You, you could be no, no, Pajewski's getting all the pub right now, right? But Slater and he'll join us, so we'll we'll ask him about it. I think there will be a competition if Clay Thompson walks. If Clay, now we're assuming that Clay Thompson's going to walk. Now there's a chance he may come back. <laughs> now you got a three way competition for the starting spot at the two guard position. Now you got a three way competition. But we'll get to that with Anthony Slater. But I think I believe that Steve Kerr's going to just say, you know what? Who wants that job? Who wants that job? Interesting. Well, I would say that Moses Moody has flashed a lot, and I'm I'm, I'm intrigued by Moses Moody and have been. We've been having the same conversation for three years, so it's very difficult for me. And and he didn't have the you know with no Clay Thompson you know out of the equation, he didn't have the runway. And then you know also having Jordan Poole, who's going to yeah. play alongside Steph Curry at times, like right. It, it's not so much like the two guard; it's the second playmaker, playmaker. on uh, on that backcourt. So that playmaker could, Bonte, with could it happen? <laughs> of course, it could happen. Oh. Is it likely for me right now? I can't envision it just because. <laughs> I, I don't see the guy getting the consistent leeway to be able to perform when he's still making mistakes and not hitting shots. I like Moody. I want to see more of Moody. Um, but to take a like a, another leap forward and to do it simultaneously well, yeah, while it, another young player is taking well, a leap forward well, and they're winning games? Well, well, hold on. Hold on one second. First of all, Moody hasn't taken that leap yet because he hasn't had the opportunity to take that leap. No, he hasn't at Kaminga, all. No, Kaminga, Kaminga, so... To this point, I think we forget because of the way it ended. we got to remember the whole season, the totality of the season, and the body of work that Kaminga put together once that Denver game happened. He doesn't play the last 18 minutes of the Denver game when Denver comes back and they go on that 25-4 run back on January 4th or 5th, whatever date it was on a Thursday night, and Denver comes all the way back, and Kaminga doesn't play the last 18 minutes of that basketball game. Well, the next 37 games for Kaminga at that point, where he went to the media that night, and he could have went to the media a lot earlier. Trust me, there was murmurs about Kaminga not being happy for a long time. Well, from that point, the guy gave you 19 and a half a game. He played 30 minutes a night, started 32 games out of the 37, shot 54% from the floor at 35 and a half percent from the three-point line. All right? He also grabbed you five rebounds at three assists and shot 78% from the free throw line. So I think we saw some great flashes from that young man. Uh, of course, great but, flashes. But, but, so but, the body of work in this third season, I thought was a I thought that was a positive. In a in a season full of negatives, uh -huh. that right there, Kaminga okay. flashing and winning over the yeah. veterans and winning over the coaching staff. 
that's a positive to me. Okay. And he took a leap. I, he did take a leap. You can't take that away from no, him. No, 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 no. I know. But like to me, it's a leap to say that 37 games equals 82, right? Because it's it's just not there. Like the body of work's not there. And like when I look at taking leaps. Well, he finally got an opportunity though. Well, you have to earn those, and you have to you have to stay on the floor. Like, stayed, there's a variety he, he of reasons it. why that's baked in there, and there were guys log jamming it. Like the, I, I know all the reasons, but here's here's what I'm saying. Like be like, I just watched Jordan Poole take a massive leap forward, and then I know we know why, and there was a variety of reasons, but that's not the only reason why. Then we saw his play. You know, take a step back. So young players can show and then step back. Some guys, the truly great ones, like a Tyrese Maxey, they gave him playing time over a three-year period, and each year you saw incremental growth, yeah. right? I saw growth from Kaminga, but again, the good players that are ascending, it's year over yeah. year over multiple yeah. seasons of growth. Right. So we're just not there yet. So I'm not saying that he can't do it. I'm just saying I find it hard to believe that both players are going to do that in a short period of well, time. It's I would say I would say Kaminga's already there. I would say Kaminga's already there. Okay. Is he an all star? No, he's not an all star right still, now. But I'm he's still 20, like wondering but, whether I should pay him thirty million. Or whoa, not. whoa, whoa, whoa! Scotty Barnes got two seventy, and I know Scotty Barnes is a and that bit feels of a better like player. An egregious overpay but yeah, because but you know I would, what? I would I'm, take Toronto. I think, I'd I think, write Toronto I think, right no, here. No, saying, as long as he's making sixty million, just put a black mark right through the Toronto. They're not winning a thing. Let's go to Oscar and Stockton. Oscar, what's happening? You're on the roast. Oh, what's going on, fellas? What's up, Oscar? I'm good. What's up, baby? Turn on your radio, Oscar. Turn on your radio. Turn on your radio. I'll have the radio on. Oh, you're echoing a little bit. Can you hear me now? Yep, gotcha. Okay, yeah, I'm just sitting here, man. Listen to Shasta, calm down, man. The Warriors are a win organization. I can understand if we didn't have, we had an incompetent owner in front office. The Warriors are going to make the best moves for them. And as I am watching this sports talk radio and listen to all these supposed to be professionals, a lot of them are wrong on a lot of things. This draft is a weak draft, and we do not need to be trying to trade all our picks. And for one reason only, we have some prospects that have been on our team the last couple of years. Kaminga, like I think it was Stani talking about. we got to understand, Kaminga only been playing basketball for seven years. He's going to make that lead, Bonte. And with Moses Moody, the same thing. We have enough talent. We don't have to panic. If we're trying to trade for all these other prospects, that's not that better than them. And so my whole thing, I know the Warriors. I know our first office. We're not going to just give up on anything. And the Warriors are a winning organization. So just calm down. And when it's all, all the smoke is settled, the Warriors are still a championship organization. We're going to make the best moves possible. And for all the fans that want Clay Thompson gone, if we don't get no shooting in here, it don't it doesn't matter. Wow. We need shooting to win, straight up. And on that part, we don't even know Paul George. Paul George is a bus, man. Straight up. <laughs> He's him in LA. He's a bus. Always have been a bus. Oh, That's why Clippers ain't winning no games. Uh, <laughs> on that point, I'm good. I'm good on Paul George. I'm good with him. Leave him in LA. On uh, that point, y'all have a good day, my man. All right, Oscar. <laughs> good call. Let's go to Josh from five eighty. Josh, what's happening, man? You're on the roast. What's going on, fellas? What's up, now, Josh? I was, uh, not, not that much, man. Good morning. Um, I, you know, the Warriors are just at an interesting part of their, their dynasty. If you look at all dynasties, they have to come to an end one way, and there's only a couple of different ways you can go about rebuilding, right? You either have the young star in the squad, kind of like Kawhi and the Spurs. You do what the, the Celtics did, and you get rid of your, your big players to get picks and come back four or five years later, or you get a big name in free agency. Right now, I just feel like they just better off trying to time everything up for when – Steph, maybe if he retires in two years, I don't know if he gets back out of the contract, but I think he might retire in a couple of years. He's got a lot of family stuff, his kids. He's got lots of outside of, you know, basketball that he's doing. Line it all up. You know, go for it for two years. Line it all up and just clear off the cap space then, you know. But I think for right now, well, I think something that you talked about uh, a few, about, maybe about a month ago, Bonte, you're talking about Brandon Ingram. We kind of moved off of that, and I think that's the name to really go yeah. for if I'm the Warriors. Yeah. You know, you go get Brandon Ingram, you give up Moody, maybe Chris Paul. If you can keep Kaminga in that deal, Ooh. now you have a team that can compete. You're talking and to me. you have the opportunity to have two guys after Steph leaves and you have the cap space. So mm. I think we got off of Brandon Ingram, but I think that should be the focus of the hey, Warriors hey, going forward. Hey, hey, Josh, you're percolating a little bit. Can Kaminga, 